David Griffin. We are back for some TV talk. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Good to see you as well. How are you doing? You doing know, well. The dream. In there. One day at a time. Uh, we were talking before that we went live. My uh, wife and baby are out of town. So just kind of living the bachelor dream, aka just silence, just living in silence. You know, that's all you want is just a peaceful evening. That's, that's like, that's all you really want. So you got like, you, you don't realize when you have a kid, when, the, when, when the silence does come back, you're like, I don't know how to fill the air. <laughs> yes, exactly. Is yes, this what it was are, like before? Is this what they it was are? Like? They are all consuming. I was telling oh. you earlier, my whole morning was spent just cleaning up after yes. miles, just ransacked our pantry and then went upstairs did the same thing and just starts throwing things for no reason. I'm like, why are you doing it? And he says, stop, stop he, he looks that. at me, he says, I like it. It's like, okay, <laughs> he likes it. That's why he's doing it. Cause he likes it. So that's, that's, that's what we're dealing with. That's a two-year-old right there. I yeah. like it. A, I like uh, it. Uh, what's up everybody in chat. Good to see you. Scott Wells, Daniel Savuya, not Rick Samores, MKS Songbird, Jeremy Miller. Uh, welcome. Welcome back. Uh, we're here every other week. On Mondays, 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 to 9 Eastern, and then wherever else in the world you are. Um, I uh, There's been a lot of good... T I mean, the reason we went to once every two weeks was so Dave and I could watch more TV to, to talk to you guys about, but also because we have families and jobs and stuff, and it's just hard yes. to, to get it every week. But it is nice to have two weeks of like, all right, I could... I Because had we gone last week, I wouldn't... I, I got to watch two episodes of Manhunt, Yes. which I am, I'm really liking. We can get into that later, mm -hmm. right? I can, you know, try and watch some of these really depressing and or terrifying Netflix documentaries like The Program, Jesus. Um, and or, you know, catch up on shows I've wanted to catch up on and, and read some news and do all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, it, it's been a nice little two weeks of uh, trying to jam some TV uh, into my eyeballs as best I can. What about you? It's been great. It's that time of year that even though I don't focus on the inside baseball of TV as much as I used to, it's yeah. upfront time, upfront season. The networks are going around. They're in New York City talking to advertisers and yada, yada and all that. So we get a lot of new trailers. You have to dump a lot of stuff. So, hey, this is what we're working on. We have this coming. You know, please, please advertise with us. So we got some cool new trailers that we're going to talk about. I mean, of course, this has been out for a week or so now, but we have Penguin, House of the Dragon dropped two trailers. We got some cool bear news. Uh, Michael Douglas is playing Benjamin Franklin. I don't know if any of us asked for that, nor do we want that, but that is happening. Um, good, good for him. Good for him at his uh, age. He's still still going. Um, uh, but yeah, we got a lot of cool news, cool trailers. And on, the, on the movie front, you know, you got there's a new Alien trailer. Josh, you know, you're not really big into horror and, and space, so yeah. those two together, that's like a stay away for Josh. But there's a new Alien movie coming out. That's very exciting. Yeah. Um, just some really good news uh, over the last couple of weeks. Very exciting. Yeah, no, I um, I think that the Michael Douglas comment is pretty friggin' spot on. Is you're like, watch this Franklin trailer. I watched the first eight seconds. I was like, nope, I'm good. I don't, I don't need like Michael Douglas has been. I I don't know if I was ask I, asking for it is, is like saying it nicely. Like, I don't know. I, I what else do we need to know about Benjamin Franklin? I wanted to. <clears throat> I was trying to look up. I know he passed the actor, but be, I know we're talking about Benjamin Franklin. Kind of skipping ahead, but because. Tom Tom Wilkinson, that's it. Tom Wilkinson, oh, yeah. I believe he passed a few years ago. Yeah. Fantastic actor. He was so good as Benjamin Franklin in that John mm -hmm. Adams series on HBO that when I watched the trailer and Michael, Duck, I just I don't know why, but I guess for me, like Tom Wilkinson, that's that's my Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> like if I can have my Ben Franklin, <laughs> it, not my it, Ben. <laughs> that's not, not ben. my Ben Franklin. Yeah. Um, it, it's just I don't know, Douglas. I, I still want to see it though because I, I love the historical dramas. I want to check it out. It looks gorgeous. Um, and Apple spares no expense. They spend all the money in the world. So I'm sure all it's going to be, it's going to look good, but yeah, it just kind of threw me off seeing, uh, Douglas in that role instead of Tom Wilkinson. But yeah. What is, what is, uh, Jeremy Miller says, what about the Acolyte trailer? What is Acolyte? So Acolyte, um, we have it in our news. Um, that's the new star Wars series uh, uh -huh. that's coming out. It takes place. It is a, it's a prequel on a prequel. <laughs> it takes place a hundred years. Uh, before the events of Phantom Menace, you know, where we get to see young Anakin Skywalker and the pod racing and, and all that good stuff. And I, it's got Carrie Ann Moss, you know, you, you, you get to see Trinity. Trinity looks fantastic, you know, as she always does, uh, doing her thing. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, get more Star Wars on Disney Plus. Is it going to be good? I don't know. The trailer, it's live action. It's live action. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. It looks like it could be a little bit darker 
okay. uh, than Ahsoka um, and everything. You know, it's it's during the the last part of the. If I can get a little nerdy, the last part of the High Republic, which was the golden age of the Jedi Order before the the Sith emerge. Um, okay. You know, and Palpatine. Freaking Sith. You know, it's freaking Sith always spoil everything. So I don't know. It, it's a different era that we haven't seen a lot of live action on. We've seen it in, in games. It? Uh, Yoda would be alive. Yeah, because yeah. Yoda was 900 years old by the time he died. So Yoda would be alive. I don't know if we're going to see Yoda, but okay. he's alive. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's, yeah. But he, so he wasn't in the trailer. Yoda wasn't in the Yoda trailer. Yoda was not in the trailer. No Yoda. No. Yeah. But he's okay. alive. Yeah. Okay. Why okay. not? Who knows? So that's, I don't know. Um, I, uh, what's, um, who said this? I, I know it's about the TV show, but the phrase cool bear news made me laugh. And it's pretty funny. It's yeah. Like, in bear news. In bear news. Um, there, so, so I'm at this campsite and they said, don't make bacon. And I was like, fuck off. I'm going to make bacon. And then a bear came. Yes. Bear news. Uh, we should start every show with bear news, David. Bear news is I always think. good, especially when it's bear, uh, the bear from FX. And oh. we can see more Jeremy Allen White. They kind of low. It wasn't low key, but it was just kind of a quiet announcement. It's like, hey, by the way, working on season. Well, season three is coming out in June. Yeah. But guess what? We're filming season three. And season four back to back. So mm-hmm. already got a green light for season four. They're filming them back to back. So the wait for season four, I'm going to maybe assume, is going to be less than it was for some of the other seasons. So that's pretty exciting that we're going to maybe it'll be like a, a little Christmas gift for us or a uh, like just after Christmas 2020. Ooh, that would be good. Yeah, you we know, get like, in the summer and then yeah. winter. Yeah, I'd yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm done for that. Maybe a Christmas special of the Ooh, bear. Christmas they should. Special? They should do. I mean, they've already done that with. Oh, that's true. The the seven fishes. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't exactly call that a Christmas special. (laughs) Didn't it wasn't exactly feel good television. No, it was not. It was it was something. It 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 was was the opposite of heartwarming. Um, But uh, Josh, I was curious when because I know we both talked about there's also Game of Thrones is in the news. Um, We have two trailers for House of the Dragon. You get a black trailer and a green trailer, depending on what side you're on. Um, the trailers get you excited. Or are you more excited now for House of the Dragon? Or are you still just kind of like, yeah, when it comes back, no, I'll check it out. See, I liked House of Dragon. Okay. okay? I think that um, unlike Walking Dead, they didn't like beat us to death with television mm-hmm. so that when the next series came out, I wasn't just, I'm done, right? I, I, I can't watch any more Rick and Michonne. I don't care. I can't watch any Daryl. I tried to, I like, I watched the three episodes. I just, yeah. I'm done with the world. I'm done. I think, I, and there, I saw somebody up there uh, in the chat. I want to shout their name out. Cause this was kind of a funny um, Jay, uh, Jesus Pena mm-hmm. said, what TV shows do you hate watch? Well, I, I like basically hate watch because I can't hate watch anymore. I don't have time. Don't have time. Watch. Same. I was just I don't have same. time to hate watch. Yep. Back in the day on Collider, we were forced to hate watch. Like, there was episodes of Arrow and Flash. My God, Supergirl. I mean, there were so many shows that the the audience, quote unquote, the Collider audience demanded we watch uh, because of like, if you didn't put Supergirl in the title, nobody's going to watch the episode. Well, Supergirl's trash. And a lot of that, that CW superhero stuff started decent and became hot garbage real quick. Like timelines got it, just bad acting, all of it in general. Right. Mm-hmm. Whereas. And, and and the same thing kind of really happened to Walking Dead. I think that, like, Rick, the actor, Andrew Lincoln, forgot how to act midway through that series and just became, like, this sweaty, like, talk. I don't know. Like, it was this weird, like, always so melodramatic, I'm going to kill you. That, like, uh, he, he melted down into some mm. version of a human. And maybe that's because you're living in a post-apocalyptic world. I don't know. But... I was so over it. I needed to watch how it ended, how the first Walking Dead ended. I can't be set back into another world years in advance where everybody is still fighting the same stupid fucking thing, which is like, hey, we're going to capture you and force you into our people in order to stay safe because everybody's murdering everybody. I'm done with that storyline. It's the same storyline every time. Even in Daryl Dixon, like he gets to France, it's like, oh, everybody murders everybody here too. I'm like, can we do something different? Just something different. It's, so, it's gone on too long. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. So it's I'm not. done with everything. And like, I'm not, you know, uh, that, that part of my life, David, it's like an ex-girlfriend. It's like a girl, you know, I just held on for so long and she just kept mm-hmm. cheating on me. And I was like, you know what? She's just real hot. 
but then she really wasn't hot anymore and she was terrifying and she like stabbed me in my sleep and i'm like all right now i'm i'm finally done i, I finally gave up on it. no i i agree I, i'm the same way i think i just don't have the time to hate watch and also i don't I don't want to put that energy out there. I like to watch things I enjoy. Same with yes. like the show, um, the regime. No, I don't. I didn't hate the regime. No, no hate. Yeah. I, I can't hate Kate Winslet. I, I, I like her. I think I like yeah. her too much. Um, but one of the shows, this wasn't feeling it. Of her mouth yeah. like <laughs> with her little odd accent Which? there. And I thought, I'm not really feeling the show. It's okay. Yeah. Winslet is always good, whatever she's in. Always. But like, why? Yeah. It's like just because it's an HBO show, it's an HBO Sunday night show. Sometimes you feel a little obligated, like, oh, as a former 100%. tv critic i i should watch whatever hbo spews out on sunday night but i'm yeah. like I, I just don't i'm not into it i don't i don't I'm i, I don't care I just just let it go i watched the first two episodes and i'm gone no nope. I, I i i heard i think i saw somewhere on the news that there's some cool cameos that have happened recently but i'm not going to go back and, and watch it so yeah it's got to move on it's got to let things go it's you got to let it go David. there's there's, there's enough tv on to fill to, so many and there's hours. enough so many not only tv but enough good tv yes. that we don't need that yeah. right yeah um um i think josh we hit real quick I oh sorry i wanted to ask you because there's, there's a show i'm very excited for you to wait, watch can i just answer your question real quick can I just oh answer i ask you a question I, yes please i'm pumped <laughs> for house of dragon i'm oh, pumped. Good. Okay. i liked it like i'm i'm ready for more house of dragon because i don't think that we got i don't think we got out of game of thrones what we wanted to get out of game of thrones mm -hmm. so we're searching to fill that void and House of Dragons, I thought season one filled that void. Did I love the time jump and the cash change? No. But did I like what they did with it? Because they could have really fumbled that bag, right? Yeah. They could have been, you know, running back, three-yard line, tries to die for the end zone, fumbles it, right? Mm -hmm. They didn't. I didn't. I don't think they did. I like the casting. I like what's going to happen in House of Dragon. I like the other Game of Thrones world. I think the world that they built is big enough that there is some like really magical things to do and in a very star Wars way, like some of their series fell flat. Right. I, yeah. I don't really care, but I think that these other series is in different worlds with different characters and new lightsabers. I mean, I'm, I still really want a star Wars sitcom, um, like a situational comedy, like somewhere funny in the star Wars realm. Mm -hmm. I know we're never probably going to get that, but Larry um, David does star Wars. Larry yeah. David writes a star Wars. <laughs> A star your enthusiasm, curb your in Star <laughs> yeah. Wars -iasm? I don't know. Um, but uh, but I but I'm pumped for House of Dragon because yeah. I think that the first season was a really good foundation for what comes next. I agree. And I think season one was so much of kind of setting the board, you know, even jumping, you know, uh years into the future and bringing a new new cast members to play the younger cast. I mean, so I think now that they have their pieces in place. I, I think season two is going to be better. I'm just speculating. I think it's going to be better. I don't know. I mean, I'm simple. You show me ja dragons and people vying for power in, in costumes, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to check it out. I'm, I'm in. Jeremy, Jeremy Miller says, "What team? Which team are you Ooh. guys on? Are there teams? In well, it's well, they had the trailers. They had the team green, and the team black. Right. Okay. So I, guess, I, I guess team green, team green. Yeah, the boy." I don't know the sun. Yeah, I guess I'm team black. I don't know, but they're kind of bad. I don't know. I mean, what's his name? Uh, Matt Smith's character. He's a little. He's kind of like uh, Jamie Lannister. A little. He's a little. Yeah. Little, you know, yeah. A little crazy. I don't know. Maybe team uh, black. Victor Pavey, uh, When are you guys going to put it in podcast form? Probably never. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, uh, this is it's more work. Yeah, it's so much work, and uh, this is as this is much as you're going to get. Is uh, listen. I've got a full time job. David has a full time job. We got a family. I. I I just like to do this. I like to do it on YouTube. I like the visual format. You can turn on, you can just listen to it in the background and open up your YouTube. Yeah, and we appreciate everybody okay. showing up and listening to us ramble. And I, yeah. you know, yeah, really. And if somebody it. wanted to make it into podcast form for me and like say, I'll do this for free and do the whole thing, great. I just, I don't have the bandwidth right now to to do that uh too many other things going on in my life but we appreciate you being here victor Pavey, and uh you know we're, we're glad that you're here listening to me and david yell yeah, thank you victor yeah <laughs> uh josh one last uh bit of news that i want to touch on was there was a trailer this Talk to me. there's a few reasons why i'm really excited about this josh okay. there are two colin farrell tv shows coming out this year on april 5th we have a bosch like very bosch like private eye series called sugar yes he's playing a character named john sugar who likes jazz old movies he wears a suit where no one else is wearing a suit he drives a a blue stingray yeah it's bosh it's basically it's bosh it's, it's hot um, bosh it's hot bosh 
Yeah, I would, I would say Collins a little bit. If I was like the hotter, yeah, yeah Collins, yeah, Collins pretty yeah. Um, yeah. And that's coming out April 5th. And then, though, I think what more people are probably anticipating is we're getting a Penguin series later this year as the Penguin, as his character from the Matt Reeves Batman, which I, I look at that face. I still can't find Colin in there. I, I, I can't see him. The makeup's incredible. So I, I love that trailer. It's just him telling a story about an old gangster from his neighborhood that he admires and you can tell he's like kind of envious of him. Like he wants to be on that level where when he dies, people will throw a parade for him. And he's he's just so good. I love that we're getting Colin Farrell twice this twice. year in, in movies or in TV shows playing very different characters. Really so cool. I saw the trailer for Sugar and I thought, yeah. and I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what didn't anybody can tell me about Sugar? Like it's Colin Farrell and he's, he, this show, it looks awesome this is like this this couldn't be more up my dad tv alley than what sugar has been presented right it's like you said it's bosh but it's it's colin farrell the best part by far of true detective season two and it wasn't even yes. close right <laughs> and we haven't really seen him in much he he really does pick and choose his projects right like did I like the Matt Reeves Batman with Robert Pattinson? No, I did. I did. I couldn't even get through the first half. Like, I did tried you watch, watch Banshees of Inisherin, Josh? Did you sit down and watch that? No. Uh -oh. oh, he was good. He was really good. I think I would like because that's from the In Bruges people, right? <laughs> yeah, and it, it's a buddy, you know, yeah. type. With Colin you know, Gleason, yeah. right? Yeah, or yeah. Tom Gleason is it? Colin? Uh, no. Uh, well, it's, it's Donald's dad. What's his name? Brendan. Brendan. Brendan Gleason. Gleason. Brendan Excuse Gleason. Me. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. Um. But uh, but with with sugar. You know, I and again, I, you know what? I totally forgot about Banshee's Vendor Sheeran. I could go back and watch it. It's got I think it's on screen. Max, maybe. On Max? Yeah, I should look for it. Maybe, yeah, okay. I should look for it. It's good. It yeah, and, and I will tell you about another movie situation that I watched. Ooh. Um, I'm always interested when you watch a movie, I'm always very interested to hear what you think. Yeah, um, <laughs> the uh, so but but the the penguin thing, I think the penguin is the most like gangster like person we've had since those like. The Batman Begins villains really weren't like bat the Batman villains I know. Like the only Batman right. villains I know are like, you know, Joker, and Cat, all those, whatever. But they were like gangsters in Batman Begins, right? Yes. So getting the Penguin to be like more of a gangster and getting back into that, sign me up for that a little bit. I'm going to give the series a, a, just because of Colin Farrell, because like, I, I don't think the guy, I think the guy can do no wrong. So um, for sign me up for that, but really, really sign me up for Sugar. Um Somebody said in here, oh, BHAL26, hope you guys do reviews of sugar. Uh, we're not going to do like individual <laughs> sugar. We, we will definitely talk we'll about talk it. About we, it we will talk about it. Yes, for sure. Yes. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Is Colin Farrell like the most underrated actor of our generation? He might be. I feel like because so when he came out, he came out as you, you thought he was going to be a little bit like Robert Pattinson. You kind of thought this is the Pretty next cool. heartthrob. Yes. He, he he's Alexander with the blonde flowing hair. He's that yes. movie phone booth. Uh, you know, all these, like he's the sexy new thing. And then it's like, okay, that didn't work out. And then he starts doing all these like indie films, totally. you know, killing of a sacred, all these like weird movies. And they like, wait, this guy can act kind of like Pattinson. It's like, no, this totally. guy's really good. Yeah. And then yeah. now he's nominated for an Oscar and all this stuff. And he might be, he, he's one of them. I feel like, no, I was gonna say Jillian Hall. Jillian Hall's too famous. He's he's too famous. I think he's more famous. I feel like than Farrell. Who? Jillian Hall. Yeah. Well, is he? Or I don't know. They're the same. I, I think feel like Jillian I, Hall and Farrell are probably the same. The same. Okay. But I think Jill. I mean, they they. Get, or Jillian Hall. Jillian Hall's more appreciated. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe, maybe Jillian Hall. I don't know. Yeah. I think it was like I, everybody thought that Colin Farrell was gonna be a douchebag, right? Yeah. It turns out he's not. No. Right? Mm -mm. Um and. It's hard to get away. And, you know, Robert Pattinson had no idea. I mean, maybe he did. Listen, you're not going to turn down vampires when no. those, those Twilight, you know, made us listen. He make money for the rest of his life. Like he never has to do anything after the vampire. Movies, yeah. Right? But he's like, you know, I don't make Lighthouse. I'm going to like go about my business and make like really high quality content. And he like has chosen to do that and done a really good job. There's this movie I saw. I forget what it was called. Somebody in the chat knows what I'm talking about. Robert Pattinson's like, it's it's he's oh man, it's really good. It was a couple years ago. Hold on, Robert Pattinson. Was it um he did that movie about like a brother? He had a he's done a few good movies. He did like a Cronenberg movie. Yeah, he's done some. He has some interesting choices the last few years. He ah oh, man um good time. Anybody, yeah, was it good time? Darren suggested good time. That's that's the one about the brother. Good time. Yes, 
it's not the one I'm thinking of. I don't okay. think. Hold on. Uh, good time was was something. Maybe it is good time. He did it's a western the... a long time ago that was really good. I yeah. remember. That's the rover. The rover. That's the west. Is that the western? That's it, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. That was good. Was that with Guy Pierce? Was Guy yes. Pierce in that one? Yes. yes. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. God, I that like movie that was awesome. It awesome. Was. Um, it only gets a six point four on IMDb. Go Ooh. f yourself, IMDb. That movie. Is that's a, that's another underrated actor. I know he's yeah. not on the same level as yeah. Colin Farrell, but Guy Pierce yeah. is another underrated. He's fantastic. <laughs> Guy. Really another is. thing too, like Guy Pierce, never really like. He just does movies that he wants to do, and you never see. He's not like he's got matinee idol looks, but he never he never like. Did, no. Besides Memento, none of his movies in like Count of Monte Cristo. Remember how good he was in Count of Monte Cristo? He's, I mean, ah. and he, he, you know, I, I want to watch it again. I, I don't have it's on MGM Plus. He has a series he's doing with the guy from Billions with um Jack Irish, the, the guy from Billions, and he's from Saving Private, not Saving Private Ryan, Band of Brothers. I'm blanking on his name, Damian Nicholson. Damian, uh, uh, Damian, his uh, wife was on Peaky Blinders. I don't know why I'm blanking. <laughs> oh man. I'm, I just Come forgot on, his name. Get it, you get it. You know, is the it guy. Damien something. Yeah, Damien the, the redhead. He's Damien Lewis. Thank you. Yeah, Damien yes. Lewis. Yes. Um, um, and he's. I mean, like he's. He has a spy show. It's. It's. Those are two leads, and I haven't even watched it yet. I feel bad. Like I should check out that show. Why am I not watching yeah. Damien Lewis and um, Guy Pearce in a show? Together? Is it the Jack Iris show? Is that no? It's, it's called? not called Jack Iris. It's called like a Spy Among Us or something okay. like that. Something like that. One of those kind of. But anyway, anyway, there's there's a lot of those are but Farrell is one of those guys. I think sometimes he is underappreciated. I'm yeah. glad he's in our lives, and I'm glad that we're getting two shows with Colin Farrell on this Sign is very me up. Leo but said Josh, I was, yeah. Guy Pierce and Mayor of East Town. Was he in Mayor of East Town? Was he the other was he like the Oh yeah, he was wasn't she like dating him? Yeah, was he, that, he, was yeah, yeah, yeah he was it? or they were hooking up or something. Yeah, yeah that's, it, was, it was a super small role though. F yeah, super small. Tiny. Yeah. Yeah, not yeah. And if fair. we're talking about the regime, David, I would have watched another season of Mayor of Easttown. I, I mean, oh. what what would it be? I don't know, but I would have watched that character again. I know every time, if I if I can call her Kate, every time Kate's interviewed, I know people ask her about it, and I think she's kind of yeah. given hints, and I think it's something she's up for if the timing, if it all works out. But yeah, I think it's something she's up for. Murder Durder. I mean, yeah. there's a part, even though it's Philadelphia and it's like, you know, that like Delaware County Delco accent where they yeah. Yeah, you got the long nose kind of thing. Oh, I'm down to watch that. I'm, I'm Yeah, I would. I would yeah. definitely watch it again. It's a shame that they've never done a show. And maybe this maybe I, I have to it, I have to take it upon myself to write it, produce it, star in it is a show is a, like a dirt, like a grimy show with a Pittsburgh accents. Yes. Shame that that. Oh, like, yeah. You know what? Sorry. And anybody in the comments can please chime in. Josh, there is a Pittsburgh show out there have you seen it it's got season two coming it's got more tyranny you got um uh jeff daniels in it have you watched this show it's called american rust and there's a season two and it's a about a, a cop i think in pittsburgh what I, I saw a trailer for it and i'm like i didn't know there was a season one and there's a season two coming out and it's jeff i love jeff daniels another yeah. Underappreciated actor. Jeff Daniels is fantastic. A compelling family drama that explores the tattered American dream through the eyes of a complicated and compromised chief of police, Del Harris, in a Rust Belt town in Southwest Pennsylvania. Southwest what? Pennsylvania. I was like, has Josh seen this? Is like his show. And season two is about to come out. Wait, it's on Prime Video? March 28th. That's like tomorrow. Yeah, that's that's season two. So I think you can watch season one. I don't know if season one. Oh, some had a good point. Uh Jeremy Miller. I think he's right. It, season one was Showtime, but I believe season two is Prime. Oh. Yeah. Let me check. Let me just. I'm just gonna look on my Amazon Prime and see if I got it. Let me see if I got it. If not, I'm gonna have to bum off somebody else. Or if you have Paramount Plus, you should be able to watch all Showtime shows on Paramount Plus as well. I'm see. I I've not seen good reviews for The Roadhouse. I know it's not a um, TV. It's a movie. But, yeah, it's on uh, Prime Video. Yep. Yeah, Prime Video. Uh, what wait, what's this called again? American American Rust. Rust. Oh no, uh, Daniel Sabuya. Uh, uh, no, the Alec Baldwin show is, is our movie is just Rust. It's just Rust, not American just Rust. Rust. Yeah. Oh, I gotta buy it. I gotta buy it. Uh, um, I'll ooh. figure it out. I'll watch figure American out. Rust. Son of a. You know what? Southwestern Twitter? Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's where <laughs> with, I'm from. With Jeff Daniels. Yeah. What? <laughs> David, you should see how close my town is to West Virginia. That's how uh, southwest I am. Yep. I, I, I grew up in southwestern New York. 
I was right near Bradford, Pennsylvania. I grew up in a town called Olean, New York, near St. Bonaventure University, which is about 20 Olean. minutes. So we yeah. could get to Pittsburgh in about from there three and a half, four hours, maybe something like that, but yeah. not far, not far. I've been to Olean. Yeah. I've been yeah. to Olean. New yeah, York. that's where I went to. That's where I went to high school. Heck yeah. 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 Before I moved to Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. Michigan. Yeah. Michigan. Michigan. Um, yeah, I'm uh I, okay. Well, now I got a show to watch. There you go. No, Sorry. Anyway, just throw one more show on you. Um, finally saw the last uh, episode of Yellow Jackets, David. Good. I don't know. I only saw season one, so I'm yeah. I, don't, I didn't get into season two. I'll be honest. I don't. Uh, I don't know why I keep watching that show. I'm not gonna hate. I'm not hate watching that show. You know what I mean? I'm not hate yeah, watching yeah. it because I actually like enjoyed a lot of it. I just don't know what I'm I'm tuning in for anymore. <laughs> What's the point? Okay. Yeah. Justin Channels shouting out. Hey, shout out from Pittsburgh coming at you from the East End. Joshy, let's go, Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a weird off season here for the Steelers. The Penguins stink. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, David. I don't know. My Pittsburgh sports fandom's really starting to hurt my soul. I got real nostalgic in the car today thinking about like 2009. We won the Super Bowl and the Stanley Cup in the same year. I was like, what? I was like, I was like 29 years old, living the dream, single LA, just, uh, I, we're going to win the Super Bowl, the Stanley Cup every year. And now we're, we have nothing. We have nothing. We, we have Josh, just, just, but just appreciate you have experienced that. That's I true. have, right. yeah, the Sabres, we had, we had, we, once we had Dominic Hash. We had Hashik. What does he do? He leaves Buffalo, goes to Detroit, wins the Stanley Cup. Wins the of Stanley course. Cup. Of course. You can't, you I can't have win it in Buffalo because we lost to the Stars, the Dallas Stars there. We had I, remember that. I remember that cup. Yeah. It's, just, it's just Buffalo. It just, it just it can't happen for us. It just can't happen. It's just, it's, it's tough. It's tough. <sighs> Uh, we got any more news you want to hit what am i no I, you know the, there's a new star trek show but that's just for me i was just excited they're doing like a starfleet academy show david um, you know what sometimes i i dominate this conversation sometimes, we, need talk, sometimes. we need to talk about it i want you to have your time okay i want you to have a little bit of star trek okay Okay, Shout out to our buddy Thad Williams. He's been having a rough time, some family um stuff, and we love him mm. very, very much. Uh, Thad, we love you. And he would he would come on here and talk about Star Trek with you. He would. So in place of Thad, I will let you talk to nobody. Okay. <laughs> and just Star Trek the shit out of this, David. Just go for it. Everybody in the comments leaves now. No. Um, no, I'm just excited. I, I love Star Trek uh, Strange New Worlds. It's probably my favorite of the live action Star Trek series on Paramount Plus. Uh, I kind of fell off Discovery, uh, which is about to start its fifth and final season. I watched Ooh. seasons one. I know it's already been five seasons. Oh. I've seen the first three. I started watching season four. I just, again, one of those things, I, I just kind of fell out of love with it. Don't need to watch anymore. Left. Uh, but they're working on a Starfleet Academy series, which is really exciting. I actually really enjoyed Star Trek Picard season three. The final season was very entertaining. I like that world. It's not perfect, but I grew up with my dad. Those are like some of the first memories I have of watching TV with my dad. Uh, Star Trek Next Generation was like 87 to 93. So I would have been between three and, you know, eight years old or whatever. So that, that's what I remember watching with my dad. I watched sports and we watched Star Trek. So, mm. um, you know, it, it's it's a bit of nostalgia for me. So I'm, I, I am invested in the Star Trek world. That's why I still have a Paramount Plus subscription. Um, so I, I so that's so I'm that's that's why. And, and for the uh, all the Taylor Sheridan shows as well, when those come. Oh, out, yeah. So. Of course. Apparently, the final half season of of Yellowstone's coming out in like November. Yeah, they're filming it. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, costume. I mean, costume's got some massive Western epic that's gonna have two parts in the theaters in the same year. I'm like, I, I don't know, Kelly. He's, I don't know. He's trying to tell the great American story. I don't know. I don't know. Costner's. I don't know. I don't think I, I care. Know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Yellowstone. Maybe it's time to. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm not. I, I have to watch the last half of the, the final season. I need to check it out. Even though I know I, we're going to get more. We're gonna get more. I'm going to say something controversial here, David. Oh okay. Boy. Oh, boy. I think Taylor Sheridan needs to wrap up the Yellowstone world altogether. 1883, 1923, 1957, 1804. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm Present done. Day. Excuse my language. <laughs> Present Excuse day. My language. Present day. <laughs> I'm over it. Like ca murderous cowboys. I gave you some artistic license for a while. I'm done now. I'm done. You blew up your family and they all survived. I'm done. I'm done with it. Okay. I'm done. So what I'm saying is like, listen, Taylor Sheridan, did, didn't Taylor Sheridan do Tulsa King? Didn't he do Tulsa King? Yeah, he did Tulsa King. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what was that one with Jeremy Renner? Like, uh, the, it was like Eastman East Hill. 
bootlegs. I don't know, something oh, like, with the yeah, with coach um, Kingstown, yeah. mayor of Kingstown, mayor of Kingstown. Yeah, solid. I thought that show yeah. was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think Taylor Sheridan is actually really good at shows that aren't Yellowstone and it's 900 spinoffs. I think Taylor Sheridan should really stay in the the present day and make like mobster gangster crime dirty shows i want more i want lioness season two that show was that dope. again I another that great show. that show so was good. awesome david yeah so good yeah i want season two of that um but uh i i don't like my as, as we've talked about this before uh my gos meter or my gas meter my give a shit meter for mm. yellowstone is is zero at this point i yeah. i'm over it they should they sometimes I understand that the paychecks are so big that you can't pass up and the hype is so real. But when you buy into the hype, it's like a stand-up comedian that when he's only played these audiences that are there to laugh and he hasn't written a good joke in years. And then he gets bored and he knows that he's always going to get, and he tries to go and like written, but he just doesn't have it anymore. Just end Yellowstone. Just end it. Well, I hope, well, it's going to end at least this run that we know. And then they're going to, yeah do another one. So hopefully when this is end and he can put his efforts into something else, that'll kind of spark some new, I don't know. We'll see. I feel like he has too many shows going. He has, he, I, so many. he is the busiest showrunner in Hollywood period. Yeah. Uh, he has it's so sort many. Of like when you see like Tyler Perry's name attached to all these shows. Like, yeah. What does he have? Or, or who, who's the big guy with law and who's Dick Wolf, Dick, Dick Wolf. Wolf, every crime drama on ABC, NBC and CBS is all Dick Wolf. It was like how Otto. he does it. Shonda Rhimes, and there's a reason why Insane. the Shonda Rhimes shows have Shonda friggin' blown after Grey's Anatomy because she just, yeah. I mean, okay, they had they, well, yeah, Bridgerton's example. their biggest. Bridgerton's probably her. I mean, though she's not really technically the showrunner. Wait a second. Just, Shonda Rhimes did Bridgerton? No, well, no, she's not the showrunner. She's it's it's from her production company. She's okay. like the producer on it. She's not. It's not her show. I'll, I'll but, give her. I'll give her Bridgerton. Yeah. Bridgerton I mean, I'd watch, the, the, but everybody yeah. loves it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of Bridgerton. uh, Palm Royale, which is not Bridgerton, but it's like Ugh. a period piece. I thought, I, dude, I honestly thought that Palm Royale was going to be like a Gilded Age era. It is not. No, uh, we are in the 60s. Yes. In the 60s. Yeah. David, I'll be honest. Mm. I watched the first 35 minutes of that show. Amanda fell asleep. I stayed up as long as I could. That show is real bad. Yeah. That one, that one is not for me. And I love Kristen Wiig. I love Kristen Wiig. I even really like America's sweetheart, Laura Dern. I've, I've you know, the cast, and you have Al Allison Janey. Allison I mean, Janey. Uh, what, what's the, Josh Lucas? No, what happened to Josh Lucas? He did Sweet Home Alabama. He just Sweet disappeared. Home Alabama. It's like, where's Josh, Josh Lucas? Lucas I think went to CMU in Pittsburgh, David. Yeah, there you go. Um, but great I just, I, yeah, great cast, incredible cast. Oh, and, and Ricky Martin, Ricky even the Martin. great Ricky Martin. He bangs, he bangs, she moves, yeah, she moves. Yeah. who still looks I like he's 25 years old. He's, I don't know how he looks so I don't know he's probably in his 50s he looks like he's 25. I mean it's insane he, he got that j-lo you know that like Latino and then they got so famous that they bought all the drugs that kept him so young <laughs> hot <laughs> just a hot dude he, it's he uh, j-lo is it's strikingly attractive and she's probably 140 years old and Ricky <laughs> Martin is about the same and he like, you're right he came as that like pool boy waiter and I was like that's Ricky Martin he looks younger than me and in high school. <laughs> What the fuck? But no, and I'm over here. Yeah. I look at pictures of myself from like 10 years ago. I'm like, good Lord. <laughs> what happened? Did I eat an old person? Wow. Yeah, no, Palm Royale. I, it reminds me, there's another show that came out a few years ago. Another, going back to Paramount Plus, called Why Women Kill. In the okay. first season, an anthology series. Only ran two seasons. And the first season, I think, took place in the 50s or something like that. And um, it has that feel to it. Okay. Um, but it's just... I don't know. I just, I couldn't get into the story. I just did by the end of the episode, I watched the whole episode. Yeah. There's one of those things at the end, Michelle was next to me and she kind of went like, yeah, we just kind of went, yeah. You're like yeah. usually, usually if we like a show, we watch the first episode, we'll both be like, that was good. Like I want to see more of that. But this one was just like, yeah, yeah. it's just nothing, nothing. Yeah. I yeah. agreed. Like, I, I just don't, I, I uh, you got to Like we said, we don't have enough time to waste yeah. time. If you don't hook me in the pilot anymore, I used to give him the three episode treatment. That's three it. Episodes. I can't do it anymore. I can't do the three. Ep well, I did regime. I did. I gave it two. 
but because it was I, HBO. I yeah, I just can't. I think there's yeah. like we you know what we should do is have an episode where we set up like a rule system and we'll gladly take suggestions from the fans on this one. Yes. But like I used to say, hey, three episodes. If you sort of grab me in the pilot, I'll give you three. If you didn't grab me, zero, right? I'm yeah. done with you there. Uh, if it's an HBO show on a Sunday, you're guaranteed at least two episodes because yes. it's got to come around. If HBO is greenlighting it, they had to have a plan. It's not like, hey, let's just throw a bunch of superheroes at a, at a Toys R Us and call it a show. Right. Yep. Um, so I think we should come up with like a rule set of like this is how t this is. If, if TV is good, this is what it needs to hit all of these criteria. I we have a list of about 10 shows that we've been watching over the last couple of weeks. A lot of good TV right now. Yes. And I see a lot of people in the comments think everybody's oh, yes. MK Songbird beacon 23 is coming back in, I think it's April. I'm very excited for that. Okay. A small sci-fi show with Lena Headey, uh, game of Thrones. Uh, there's a new show out. It's a big show. It's called three body problem. Okay. One of the reasons why it's so big is because it's, uh, D.B. Weiss and uh, David Benioff's first oh. massive, you know, big, big, big project HBO since too. Game of Thrones Yeah. Um, for Netflix because they had an HBO show that was supposed to happen that fell through, didn't go. Yeah. And then they moved on to Netflix, signed a big contract. They're supposed to do a Star Wars movie. That doesn't right. seem like that's going to happen. They had a Star Wars deal. Yeah, that didn't happen. So they went from HBO to Star Wars. Now they're on Netflix. Um so speaking of first episodes, I, I I think a lot of people are digging it. I hear there's some crazy stuff that happens in episode three. There's some WTF moments in episode five. Okay. I, I didn't read any spoilers. I don't know. The first episode didn't grab me. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. You know, it, it's kind of up my alley. It's It seems like they're going towards extra dimensional, different weird things. I don't know what, I mean, people who have already seen more episodes, they know more than me. I know it's a it's based on a popular book series. Okay. Um. I, I don't know. D uh, Dat, Dat Vo saying that it's so good. Um, episode five there, John McKay, episode five. is I, I've seen all this stuff. Episode three, episode five. I guess I need to watch more. But episode okay. one, I don't know. I, I, I didn't make me immediately want to watch the next episode. I, I was kind of like, oh, maybe I'll check episode two out in a couple of days or something like that. I don't know. Did you check it out, Josh? Did you? I don't no, know. This, I, this is probably not up your alley. I, somebody, I think, tweeted it at me. Yeah. And then I saw some people in the chat, obviously, talking about it. I nothing. I haven't seen a trailer. I don't know anything about it. I don't even yeah. know where it is to, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. Is it Netflix? What is it? It's Netflix. It's Netflix. Okay. It takes place in quote unquote present day. Okay. Um, it, can you give me, can you give me an elevator pitch on it? Oh, good Lord. No, <laughs> no. I mean, not, I mean, I, I would need not Rick's room. Who's the, uh, I need, joke. yeah, not Rick's Amorous would need to give me, somebody would need MK Songberg need to give me a, I, I can't do a synopsis. It's uh, okay. It, it, that they're all are they theoretical physicists? I think okay. they're all they're all very much like um. I think they're physicists, and they come across some type of technology. One thing is kind of like a video game, and then like the the universe starts flickering, and it's in Morse code or something. It's in some kind of code that's a message, and there's something going on. I don't know. I, I'm 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 people in the comments like David. This is like, like just aliens and Earth. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> But I've only seen one episode, so I, I don't know. It's it's crazy. Okay. But oh, people and also like these scientists are seeing a countdown, and they don't want it to get to zero for some reason. And when it gets to zero, something bad happens. I think I don't know what happens, but like there's so a like they, they see a clock that's in, counting in, down. In, I don't know what they're seeing. I, I don't know what's happening. Okay. I, I know Benedict Wong's in it. I love Benedict Wong. He's he's fantastic. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I, know. I, I need to watch more. I, I'm I'm not trying to poo poo it. I just I watched one episode and. Here's the thing. I, don't know. I think I need like in my mind and, and taste as far as those kinds of shows go, very ebb and flow, very, um, uh, you know, I, I'm, I need to be in the mood for like a sci-fi show. So that comes along like, you know, sometimes I, I don't eat it often enough and I don't, I don't want to eat it often enough, but like sometimes I, I just really want to get barbecue. I like barbecue food. Don't, don't get me wrong. I like it. But every like three to four months, I'll just gorge on ribs and then I don't need to eat ribs for like five to six months. Okay. That's how I feel about sci-fi TV. I like, I'll see one series where I'm like, oh, okay. I like, and, and it's specifically like aliens on earth or like space in general space. Yeah. Okay. I don't like space. Like I, I'm not a big, you know, I love the first two seasons of for all mankind. And then they got too spacey for me <laughs> in too unrealistic. Yeah. You know, like I, I need it. 
So for me to like really get down and dirty and want to like sit and watch a show like Three Body Problem or like Severance or Foundation or any of these shows that I know you love. Yes. Just like for me, like watching stupid comedies isn't your jam, David. And maybe yeah, once true. in a while, it's like true. you and I both love Abbott Elementary, you know? Love Abbott Elementary. Love stupid that show. comedy. It's hilarious. But Josh, there, I want to say there's a sci-fi show and I'm sorry to derail it off Three Body Problem because a lot of people are really enjoying it. But there's a sci-fi show, Josh, I want you to watch when it comes out. It's coming out in May, on May 8th, okay. right before my birthday. So you can watch it for my birthday. You can watch just Just watch the premiere. Okay. Um, it's called Dark Matter. Okay. It's an Apple TV series with Joel Edgerton and okay. the great the great Jennifer Connelly. Oh. Um, and it is based off of a book. That I know we talk about put down the book, pick yeah. up the remote. I've actually read this book. It's a, it's a great sci-fi read, a quick read if you, if you need to read a new book. And um, there are... I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's sci-fi elements in it. There's no space. There's no aliens, but it's something that's grounded in reality with a good story, a good love story, a good human story. So when that comes out, Josh, that's a sci-fi show. I hope you'll check out. And that's going to be on Apple TV plus on May 8th. That there's one I'm very excited about. Gray matter. You call it dark matter. And this is the first season. Yes. Now, now people might be Googling right now. There was a dark matter series on the sci-fi channel years ago that has nothing to do this is dark matter it's a book by blake crouch uh it's it's, it's really good you got jennifer connelly um listen you had me so, at joel edgerton and jennifer connelly like, you, can't, you can't go wrong with jennifer connelly yeah. or joel edgerton yeah they're, they're awesome joel edgerton in maybe the most underrated sports movie of all time in fighter um yeah because that movie yeah not fighter warrior warrior yeah what you know, the MMA movie with Tom Hardy. That, and that. Uh, who else? I like uh, Alice Braga is going to be in it. Um, okay. She's okay. in it. She's good. It comes out. People are asking. It's going to be on Apple TV Plus on nice. May 8th. So, yeah. Um, Can we but talk th- about th- Shogun? Yes. Let's talk about Shogun. Yes. That's one that we both agree on, I think. David, this I'm so bummed to, that this we're only getting one season of this. Yeah. I'm the I that's the scene. Uh, maybe uh, we're gonna maybe a little spoiler. Spoiler and warning. Jack spoiler Five flicker. Nine. Yeah, a little. I started, spoiler. gentlemen. I, I, Shogun. Yeah. When they blow up those dudes with the cannon, holy shit! Yeah. Like that is some graphic violence on TV that you never see, and it's not like the boys' violence where it's like there for shock value. Like out of nowhere, the crazy son just like, bow, bow, bow. Man, and uh, I, I thought it was kind of getting like a little bit slowish at points, you know, like the love story and all that kind of stuff. And they're like, nope, we're going to blow people with a cannon and now a war is going to start. And I'm like, wow. Oh, because the violence isn't, I hate, I, I, you have to call it over the, it's not over the top, even though that was a gory scene. It's yeah. not constantly hitting you with violence, violence. So when it happens, it's shocking. Like the body, like you see like the bones popping out. And I mean, like when he, when he said like, oh, I got a surprise for him or something was coming. I didn't yeah. know what he meant. I knew they were going to attack or do something, but I didn't know he had a bunch of cannons hidden, you know, and they were start launching them at, at those guys. I mean, it was yeah. such a cool thing. I, I love that show. Oh, it is. It's so well done. I mean, that's, I mean, I know it's a little too early to do best shows, but I mean, probably in a few yeah. months, we'll start doing our best shows of the first half of the year. Totally. That's already top 10. Like it's gotta be one of the best shows. I don't think that I, year. I, I think like the Venn diagram of hype and delivery. Yeah. For that show, I mean, oh, like succeeded everything that I had hoped for. It's completely delivered. There was so much hype going into this. It's been, yeah. There's no like star power in it either. Like I know some of those faces, and you know, like listen, yeah. the Hero, Japanese Hero, Hero's Marika, been in a bunch of stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. that Japanese girl Marika. Like Amanda knows why I'm watching that show half the time. Yeah. That is one strikingly attractive human. Like that yeah. woman is, wow. Um, and but overall like the actual i don't know man it like the culture everything that they're hitting like accuracy wise you know it's it's something it is really it, it, it's a pretty special show um and it's a, it the fact they're only getting one season they're, they're talking about it it's just like a mini series all that kind of stuff yeah making it like a very very long movie it's cool and everything but i really feel like this is one of those shows you could do two or three seasons and i'd be fine with it yeah, and I I was reading about that. There, there's no spoilers here, but I was reading about that, and the creators were basically saying that they tell the first book, first book, the only book, uh, in season one. They think once you get to the end, if you have read the book or not, that is the entire book. Once you get to the uh, final episode, so okay. they haven't ruled it out completely. 
I mean, there are some people saying like, well, you know, if there's a story to tell, but they take those stories to conclusions. So I don't know where they would go, but if they do, I'd, I'd love to see more Shogun. I'm Me too. For it. Yeah. Give me like a they Shogun shared up. universe. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, a Shogun universe. Yeah. <laughs> Shogun universe, David. <laughs> um, I, I just, uh, yeah, it's now it's, it's appointment viewing. You know, those ones where you're like, wait, where's my Shogun? Where's my Shogun? Um, it's sort of like, uh, I mean, it's the first thing you watch at night is, is curb, right? It's the first, it's like, it's Sunday night. It's time for curb. We only yeah. have two more episodes ever. Yeah. Curb same. Yeah. It's one of those things. We got Conan O'Brien this week, which that is great. I, I love the cam the cameos this season are, are so good. So good. Um, the, uh, I know this is like a wild thing to say is <laughs> like mm -hmm. when he, do you remember the episode like three episodes ago when he stole the golf lesson, he was like yes. sitting on the bench. Yes. He's yes. still, and he's like down and horizontal. So I was watching a thing like a guy doing this and I was like, oh, that's kind of like the Larry David tip. And David, I got to tell you, like it, it helped gets my elbow in the slot a little. It does. Okay. It helped me throw my hips in the right manner. Okay. And it, the other thing it does, David, as far as like dropping and going, it helps with tempo. It really does. Your timing and your tempo gets to here and then you just throw that elbow and then go. All right. It. I'm going to have to go to the range and practice that. I'm already working on some other things, but I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to practice it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Um, I, I this season of of uh, of Curb, just like all of them, fantastic. And you know, it 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 might end like the Seinfeld. He might be getting like his revenge for people. Because well, well, every episode, yeah, they keep hating on the sign. It's like, yeah, but you wrote the Seinfeld finale, right? He's yeah. like, oh, I wasn't there for that season, but yeah, but you a good wrote finale. The finale. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I feel like we're gonna see Jerry. Like the, the cast has to show up again. I know they already kind of did that a few seasons ago, but. Yeah. I feel like there's gotta be like cameo. one cameo from Jerry somewhere. Right. In these last, Oh couple yeah. Episodes, right. Gotta be. Yeah. Um, Jerry Miller, uh, uh, has a question. I watched this on Friday night and I, I, I had like stayed up late to watch it. Cause I was like more like horrified by it, but I mm -hmm. need to see how it end is, uh, is the docu document. I think it was on, uh, where was it? Netflix maybe? No, Apple. I don't know. Max, oh yeah. Max, but, uh, Max. About all the kids like quiet on set. I've been on hearing Nickel a lot of talk about, that. about Nickelodeon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Dude. I heard about that. I'm telling you, if 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 I, I like, I want Rosie never to want to be like a performer. And if yeah. she like something, somebody's like, oh, we could get her on a show and Nicola. No, 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 nope, 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 yeah. nope, 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 nope. No. Every time, like, like one in every 500 kid stars, like it goes is like fine. They've mm -hmm. all they're all kind of messed up. Bad parenting. Like it was just really, dis it was heartbreaking. Thanks, Dad. Vo. It was. It was. It was truly heartbreaking. I don't I know. Watch that. Yeah, it like was one of those ones where like I didn't sleep well that night because okay. like it's on ID and go. Max. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, it's on Max. I, I've been hearing a lot of buzz, but I heard like there's some stuff like the Blues Clues guy and stuff coming out. I'm like, oh no, oh no, the Blues Clues yeah. guy. Oh, no, so, like I think they're just comment. Not that he did something wrong. They're just oh. commenting on because they were around during that yeah. time or something. So yeah, oh, totally. That, that's sad. Um. Uh, Josh, there's a show you should check out. You and Amanda, I think, would love. It's called yeah. Apples Never Fall. It is yeah. a Peacock series, Apples Never Fall from I, the Tree. You remember we Alice. loved that trailer? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I thought, I guess I assumed I should have texted you. I thought you were watching it. Um, you have Allison Brie. You have Sam Neill. You have Annette Benning. It, it is, Josh, it is all soap opera. It is soapy, a okay. little cheesy, but it's good. Like, it's yeah. it, it's good. that They dropped the whole season all, all at once. It's a binge. Um, Michelle and I are in episode five. Uh, it's not going to win. I think I want to say eight. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Um, but they're all like a nice runtime. Like I think they're more in the 40 minute range than they are the hour long. Okay. Um, but it's, it's fantastic. I'm just trying to make sure, see how many episodes there are, but it, it's just, it's, it's good. Soapy, you know, uh, fun, you know, it's like, it's all this, you know, drama. You get like a back there. There's like two different timelines going on. You get to see like, there's all these, there's four kids. You get all their backstories. You get the parents' backstories. You know, it's okay. uh, seven episodes. Seven. Got it. Got it. Um, apparently, uh, th this X Men '97. A lot of people have been talking yes. about. Have you watched this at all? I, ha I have watched that. It gives you all the feels. X Men: The Animated Series. I think it premiered back in '92. So again, this is me at I don't know eight years old, uh, and like everything looks the same. I mean, yes, oh, wow. it's, in de it's in high definition now, but the animation looks the same. The intro music is pretty much the same. They have a few characters that they've added in. And as yeah. soon as that intro music, like it just brings me back to being. In it. But the story is good. It's it's pretty topical. Um, you know, it's 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 more mature than I remember the show being, or maybe it, it's the same. 
Uh, I haven't watched it in a long time, but I, I saw the first two episodes um, uh, of this new season of X Men '97. I'm I'm in. I'm, I'm going to keep watching. It's like you know, it's twenty oh, live action though, right? It's not no, 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 it's animated. It's animated. But yeah, I, I'm in. I'm I'm, I'm going to watch it. I feel like I get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and and watch some X Men '97. Watch your X Men '97. Yeah. Gotcha. It's like watching my cartoons and having my bowl of cereal. Like when I was, little. <laughs> I, I still do. The thing is, I still have a bowl of cereal and watch X Men. So I have not. I have not changed. Hey, uh, come full circle, bud. Years. Come yeah, full exactly. circle. Yeah. What did you think of the Masters of Air finale? Oh, I, my, I, so the first half of Masters of Air, I love the whole series. The first half was good, but I hate saying it got repetitive because they're telling history. These guys are right. fighter pilots. They get up and they're bombers and they get up in planes and that's what they do. That's their daily job yep. every single day. Yep. But after like the third or fourth time up in the year, I'm like, I kind of want to see a different part of it. So mm -hmm. when we get to the second half of Masters of Air and you have some guys on the ground, you have, um, oh, that guy who plays Rosie Rosenthal, he yeah. is in Apples Never Fall. He's Allison oh. Bree's roommate. So Ooh. if you get, you get to see Rosenthal a little okay. bit, uh, a little more. So I, I, I loved seeing all this stuff around Europe, what was going on, what's going yeah. on in Germany, like the camps. I wish we'd gotten a little bit more. Like I wanted the finale to be longer. It was Me an hour too. and 20 minutes and I wanted more. I'm like, because like when, when Rosie went to that one uh, concentration camp. Yeah. I wanted more of that exploration, Me but they, I mean, they had, there's so much story to tell the ending. I almost cried. Like when they started showing the stories about how these guys got married and what happened to Buck and Bucky and yeah. Like, and I, I haven't seen the document. There's a documentary. I did. I watched watch the documentary now. too. It was I good. Watched. Okay. It yeah. was good. I, I, I loved it. I, loved I will it. say, you know, I feel like in masters of air felt really fast. Whereas band of brothers felt really developed. If that makes sense, yeah. like I, 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 I knew the characters more in Band of Brothers. I knew, I felt like I, I was a little more invested with them. Um, I wanted more. Like I, again, I love the show. Uh, I liked it more than the Pacific. I think same. Um, I, I just want again. Like I just wanted more story. More. I don't know. I, it's hard to. It's hard to put my finger on like exactly what I wanted more of. I think I just wanted. Maybe more character development, more like more stories from them in the camp, more like you said, more like the, the concentration camp, mm -hmm. all the kind of stuff that felt like it was like really kind of rushed at the end, right? Like his relationship yeah. with that British spy. We, we yeah, just, we, kind of, we never. I don't know if she was like a made up character. We never got to learn about it. There was no like at the end they did all the what happened to everybody. Yeah. We didn't get to know her story. I'm like, what happened to her? I guess I could go online and look. I it think up, that but. it either was a made up story or like we're just supposed to believe that she died. Right, like she got caught yeah. by the Germans she and she caught, died. Yeah, right. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I, I, again, I, I loved it. It's hard yeah. to, it's hard to like nitpick a show that I would get like a solid like eight and a half out of ten, maybe even a nine. But I, I really wanted, and maybe a lot of stuff just like didn't happen to those guys, and so they just told yeah. the story how it happened. Right. Like I, I felt like I'm like when I know people were asking when are we going to see the Red Tails, one of the Tuskegee Airmen, and we got them. And they, I'm glad they got they got a whole episode, which is great. Yeah. But it's like I wanted more. Like you know, you, we kept seeing those guys when they were doing the death march. You, you see them walking, but you don't really you didn't get to know everybody. I guess I, I guess that's the World War II thing. It's just it's so big. Yeah. The story's so big. There's so many people, and I, I, I yeah, I, I agree though. I wanted to know more, but I love the ending. It's just I, there's rarely a show I watch, especially with an hour and twenty minute episode. Where I'm like, man, I could really use some more. But I did. Right. I wanted more. I wanted another episode. So. Agreed. Oh, I, yeah. I'm sure they will do another. They will. Spielberg and Hanks will do another Absolutely. World War II story. They yeah. haven't done the, the 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 boat. The guys in the boats. They could do something in the sea. It's totally, especially in the Pacific. Yeah, <laughs> they could do that. Yeah, Masters of the Sea. Masters of the Sea. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Masters of the Sea. Um, um yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, met the hype. Love the show. Super well done. Sad it's oh. over. That was another show, Josh. Appointment viewing when there was a new thing that would pop. Yes. New episode. I clicked 100%. it, watched it. But Josh, uh, you know what? A good thing about Masters of the Air. A good thing that it gave us is it gave us Crosby, and Crosby did. is still going strong. Yes, and I'm talking about Manhunt. Another again, we're sticking with Apple. Another Apple TV Plus show, and he is playing John Wilkes Booth, the man who assassinated President Abraham Lincoln. What, what do you this think about awesome, Manhunt? So by the way. Okay. I'm two episodes in. This yeah. show's awesome. Like it creates a, uh, I mean, it paints a picture of what the our country was like then. Yeah. Um, I mean, they get right to assassinating. It's not. Yeah. It, there's no like. 
you know, there's some lead up to it a little bit, but really and truly it's like post assassination. Yeah. Right? It's more about the chase. Yeah. yeah. And put what, what I do like is how they're putting the pieces together of how it led to the assassination. I like the timeline of, of how they're doing it. I, uh, yeah, man, I, I'm a, I'm a fan of the manhunt. I'm yeah. sign me up. Yeah. I'm, he, this guy's, um, I'm, I'm, of course I'm, I didn't even look up his name. I just can't think of it, but he is having a great year. Speaking about a Anthony Boyle, I think that's his Anthony name. Boyle. Anthony yeah, Boyle, yeah, MKS right. put his name in. Yes, there. Anthony Boyle is having a fantastic year, and low key another underappreciated actor. Again, not on the level of uh, uh, Colin Farrell or, or Gyllenhaal, but uh, Tobias Menzies, fantastic he actor. He's British, right? He is. He's British. Yeah. He, he's been in the James Bond movies. He was in Rome. He played yeah. Brutus in Rome. He was Brutus yeah. in Rome. Of yeah. course, Game of Thrones. He's been in. Outlander. He's been in so many things. He's just one of those guys that every time Tobias Menzies in something, I'm like, sign me up. I'll, I'll sign me yeah. up. I'll, I'll watch this. Yeah. And, and he there is... isn't. There isn't. Uh, the reason I ask, like, is he British? Is because you you can't tell. His accent's perfect. It's His good. American it really accent really is. Is yeah. just awesome. Yeah. And he's kind of playing. He's almost like lead detective in yeah. a way. Like that's the thing. I wasn't expecting Orton. to turn like a detective series. It's not. Yeah. I mean, it's not a who done it because they know no. who did it. But yeah. it's still. It's like this detective chase around the country during this very volatile time in the country yeah you know post civil war but like right like it just happened a few days like it's, it's totally. crazy everything that's going on that time yeah. so yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying that so far man to, to yeah it, it's and that actor came out of nowhere and now he's yeah, i've never heard of him yeah no. yeah. yeah good for him uh all right we got three minutes left you want to wow. do like a little rapid fire uh, did you you finally start oh. and or watch full swing uh, I, I'm still, again, J Josh, I'm savoring it. Uh, I, I just saw, I'm only seen episode, uh, seen the first three. I just wanted to say real quick. I, I love the, uh, Joel Damon oh. and, um, Gina. what's the other guy's name who just Gina. won the other. Gina. Yeah. And G I no, but no, the other guy who they paired Wyndham him with Clark. Wyndham Clark, like the whole yeah. thing about them both losing their moms and the psychiatry. Really cool. Like I, I loved it. Loved it. Yeah. yeah. Love, love that show. Yeah. Uh, wait till you get to the Ryder Cup episodes. It okay. rips your heart out again. And it just rips your heart right out again. And Josh, I got to ask you, are you still watching Tokyo Vice? Are you oh, caught dude. up? Or are you getting uh, there? All caught up. I'm, yes. I, yes. Yeah. yeah. Love that show. Talk about a show that like nobody's talking about. Super underrated. I love it. I love it. I've watched, I, I feel like my two Japanese shows, like afterwards, now I'm like, where are the subtitles? I don't have to, I don't know how to watch TV without subtitles anymore. <laughs> We're getting. I, I'm. I'm hearing these Japanese words, but they're speaking a different. It's like almost like feudal uh, Japanese in uh, the Shogun show. It's like a different. It's like old English Japanese, like Shakespeare's version yeah. of Japanese. So it's different. So, but yeah. I, I love all the Japanese. We're getting uh, real quick. Top Chef, Josh. I'm a big Top Chef fan. I Got watch it. it every season. This is the first season in 20 years where Padma Lakshmi, the great Padma, is not uh, part of the show anymore. But we have a uh, Kristen Kish who's doing a good job so far. It's just been one episode. They're in Wisconsin. Uh, you know, nice to see a, and a, they're, they're in the Midwest. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm a big Top Chef fan. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Jerry Miller, when I first saw the title, I thought you guys were talking about a cop show on Vice TV. No, no, no. Tokyo Vice is just awesome. I mean, again, besides, <laughs> you know what I do? Besides Ansel Elgort. Oh, I got another. Oh, I got a hot lead. Oh, I mean, let me tell you, besides him being like just kind of a doofus with long hair, it, it, Ken Watanabe kills it. The Japanese newspaper, it's just, it's awesome. It's really, really good, man. It's, um, Yeah, yeah. Sign me up. I, to I told my brother, like, you got to watch Tokyo. He's like, I thought I was supposed to watch Shogun. I was like, watch them both. You can watch them both. They're good. Um. Anyway, uh, you want oh, to uh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go No, no, I'm done. Go ahead. I am very excited for a new series started. We're getting a lot of good World War II content. We had Masters of the Air. Now we have We Were the Lucky Ones coming out on Hulu. You got Joey King, uh, Logan Learman. Um, yeah, yeah. I believe it's about a, a – uh, I think they're a Polish family. Uh, it's based off a very popular best-selling novel. Again, more World War II. I, I'm, anything World War II drama-related, I'm just going to check out. Um, it's got a, a nice cast, so – We'll see. I haven't read any reviews or anything, so I don't know what the buzz is, but it's coming out this week on Hulu. So we were the lucky ones. Um, we were the lucky yeah. ones. I'm going to check that uh, out. My, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the program on Netflix. It's about like troubled kids getting sent to this like boarding school in upstate New York where they, huh. they treat them. It's like, it's pretty dark, but okay. it's, it's actually really well done. Um, 
and uh, I've gotten through it. It, 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 it. Like as parents, like as a parent now, I'm I'm, I'm terrified as to like. I want to make sure Rosie grows up and, and, but I know there's going to be teen years where she's going to rebel. And like, that's the normal part of life. Scared of that part. The, the patience of parenting. And then like how other parents treated their kids. I don't know, man, it hit me in a weird place and I had to like really binge it and finish it. So I uh, highly recommend that. And you know, um, uh, if you don't, if you haven't watched full swing yet and you, you, and you know anything about golf, go watch full swing. Full I, I highly recommend. Good. Yes. Uh, it, golf is one of those sports that everybody should watch and everybody should play and everybody should do just, you know, if you don't, if you take a tea time, give a tea time. I like that, Josh. That's good. Very well said. Well said. Thank you. <laughs> David Griffin, Josh McCuga. Yeah. This is TV Talk. We're here every other Tuesday, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, 6, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, I've been, ter- I've had Caitlin Clark and Iowa basketball on over here trying to catch it. I, like, I don't care about any other uh, March I, Madness. I, I, like, I like March Madness and everything. I just want Caitlin Clark to win a national championship. I got her on here over here. Uh, so if I turn my head a couple of times just to check a score, I apologize, David. It's all um, right. No worries. No worries. <laughs> uh, go enjoy your family. Uh, everybody else out there, be kind to one another. Uh, it's way easier to love than hate. Find the good. Call somebody. Text them. Tell them you love them. It matters. And as always, put down the book. Pick up, David. The remote. And, and 